So first question I have for you, how does mm -hmm. Scala fit into the programming landscape? What is it best at? Scala is really probably best thought of as a uh, replacement for Java, a more modern version of the kind of language that Java is, which mm -hmm. is mostly a language for programming uh, systems, servers, uh, less so in the browser anymore, but it kind of fills that niche. It runs on top of the Java virtual machine, and it brings in a lot of new capabilities into uh, language design that have become more prominent and important in mm -hmm. the last few years. So what is poly paradigm programming? Did I get that right? Yeah, that's that's sort of a made up word. It's It's the concept of really we can't rely on just one language or one uh, programming paradigm for uh, getting our work done, that the problems we face today tend to be so heterogeneous in their nature that the best solutions are by nature heterogeneous as well. So it's the idea of bringing in multiple uh, languages as well as multiple paradigms. And by paradigms I mean how you, how you modularize the program, how you sure. look at it in sort of the large scale. Right. Now, do most significant applications only use one programming language, or is it multiple? Well, historically, that has kind of been true. Uh, if It used to be when you bought a phone, this is actually a great example, it used to be when you bought a phone, it was all C or C++ code. Right. But phones are more like computers today, and computers and larger systems like internet sites are really built on a wide variety of languages and technologies. Because again, no one size fits all. Sure. So the last question I have for you, um, from a practical standpoint, mm -hmm. should should developers be careful about only focusing on one language these days? I think it's getting a little dangerous for several reasons. One is that, as I said, it's very difficult to solve all the problems that you'll typically find uh, in your day-to-day -day experience with just one language. And if you only have that limited perspective, I think you kind of make bad design decisions mm -hmm. when you could be doing things even if you're using one language, just having an awareness of other approaches can actually inform your designs and make them better. So you'll just make better decisions day to day, I think. Right. Well, thanks so much for dropping by. Appreciate hey, it's it. my pleasure. Excellent. Thanks.